How you doing? This is me. Just got back from Benicia to get my schedule for the next two weeks. We did a little lightweight film and look at my hair. Because <laughs> I haven't had my hair done in four months like some of you guys. And um, I was wearing a hat. So anyway, but I needed to come on because I wanted to talk about some of the stuff that's come up. And you guys were sending me, you know, links and oh my God. It's been crazy. But also, um, uh, there's been earthquakes again. There was a 6.0 in Japan, and no, a 7.0 in Japan, and then a 6 point down to the south, or to the, to the east-south, southeast. In Fresno, people were writing me about that couple of tremors behind it and I think it got downgraded from a six but it was still good size somebody wrote me and said uh, a friend slash client said oh my god her her earthquake alarm went off so I was like girl so yeah unfortunately there's more but you know look at Mexico I think there was a couple of people injured but it was an Armageddon California is pretty cool because they do a lot of wood-based um, homes. I just want to look at the earthquake situation. Let's see if they have something else to say to me. Tell me about earthquakes. My sweet guides. What do you got to say about this? Earthquakes. This is weird. There's a man, I think he used to be like a ranger or something. I could see him in that old uniform, like even from the 1930s. Um, he's up in the Redwoods. So he was letting me know that there's a, a shaker like near Yosemite. He, there's something happening near Yosemite. He's just clear as day. He even has a little ranger hat. Um, there's more fires, I knew that. So, I know Oklahoma got hit, and they thinking about fracking, but I'm feeling Texas and Oklahoma for some reason. And then I'm feeling Utah, and then the North. The North, I used to get really strong, like I knew something was gonna happen in the North, and there was a good-sized earthquake in the ocean outside the North. But I'm definitely feeling, uh, you know, it's not Armageddon. We knew things were gonna shake up, you guys. Okay, so I saw Yosemite. I see Canada having a couple. But again, these aren't, you know, I'm not seeing like the ear, you know. In fact, the girl that wrote me, she told me that that alarm went off for the earthquakes and she said, Linda, my ears were ringing. And that's exactly what happens with me. That's why I think some of it is my tribe because the, the, my people could feel physically the earth, like they could feel the changes within the earth. Just like a good farmer can tell you when, um, a good farmer can tell you when the, the weather's gonna change. We had a neighbor down the street and where I lived it was, it was not packed like a city. It had fields and cows and chickens. And his, his name was Warner. And he used to he used to be able, he used to tell me, you see how the, the horizon is? That means this. And I imagine sailors are that way too. So anyway, there's a good size earthquake coming in, uh, let's say Yosemite. I do see more in Southern California, but the I think the big one in Mexico, there could be another shaker that size near Mexico again. It's like, we need a break, you guys. So, 
Okay, so I get that as clear as day. And then of course we wanna look at what happened with Flynn. Kennedy's furious. I will tell you something that I heard as soon as I saw it. And I'm not just trying to be right, okay? I don't have to be that it kind of energy. Cause I pick up energies like he was going down and he was going down. But I, they told me as clear as day when I saw that and I was like, what? And it says he will serve jail. They said that as clear as day. And I almost feel like they're gonna come back on him. So let's see what Justice Kennedy or Judge Kennedy or Sullivan, sorry. Judge Sullivan, sorry you guys. I'm a little bit white, but I wanted to get on here real quick to let you guys know the 411. Okay, so, because I know y'all were upset. I gotta talk to you guys about something else, but we'll do that after this. So, Michael Flynn, they were told to drop all the charges for Michael Flynn. I almost feel like he'll use the words, I think he might drop them, but he'll say with prejudice. Leave enough door open for, for them to be able to come back. And they'll probably have to wait. Oh, did you see Donald Trump saying, oh, now he's exonerated. It was nothing to do with exonerated. Oh my God, what a liar. Anyway, tell me about what's going to happen with Michael Flynn. He's ruined. He will be like pointed at and laughed at. Sure, Trump and his cronies will say, best guy ever. I see no respect. He might even try to bring him into the administration and there'll be a lot of, there'll be a lot of uh, upset. Michael Flynn, what's the outcome from Michael Flynn? I saw jail, it's clear as day. So he's definitely losing money. And here's Trump crossing him. That's his buddy. So the truth is coming, you guys. The truth is coming. And I'm telling you, I think Flynn might even say, let me write a book so I can. I'm telling you, I feel like he'll be desperate to make money. And I feel like Trump's very happy to see him, but he's not going to do anything to help him. Do you know what I'm saying to you? He'll say, I got you out, dude. I already staked my reputation on it. With what reputation? So right now he's happy. He's celebrating. He's, yeah, yeah. But fortune's fate. Fortune's fate. So guess who I was kind of feeling when I was driving back? Uh, I felt Bobby again. Bobby Kennedy. I was kind of talking to him. Because I was like, gosh. And he's like really reassuring. He's like telling me that. Tell everybody this to, like, this is going to be okay. Hold on. Flynn will definitely pay. He'll pay a, a spiritual price. He's not off scot-free. It's almost like, um, what's his name? Um, OJ. He may have been found not guilty, but there was people, they still had that suspicion in their mind. So even Republicans aren't trusting him. Like he, they're thinking him, of him as a bad seed. Like we, we know he confessed to this crime and yeah, you got him off, but keep him away from me. That's what I'm getting. So let's just ask really quick. So, okay. Thank you. Let me just pull some cards up. Will... Will he actually serve jail time, what I saw? Bobby, will he serve jail time? Not right now, but justice will come. Justice will be served. Definitely. He'll, he'll definitely serve jail time. And again, I feel like he's trying to look for a deal or something to do with a book or something like that. He's going to try to make some money on the slide. Now, I'm like, Cohen confessed that he did wrong. He's, he served jail time. Cohen's book will sell. Not Flynn. He's struggling for money. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> Bobby just said that they're actually, even though he thinks he got off, they're going to be watching him like a hawk. Watch him do it again, Linda, he said. 
Watch him do something stupid. That's what I heard, okay? But I saw Flynn physically in jail and that's gonna happen. Is it because a new, okay, thank you. It's new charges being brought up. So these charges are sort of going away, but new charges and he's gonna do something. Flynn is gonna do something. Hiding underneath Trump's skirt. Very interesting. So, okay, so we got, I started to talking about uh, Barr showing up at Congress before he was even petitioned to show up because I thought they had a date, but they didn't. Now they have July 28th, which is too long. Tell me what Barr's thinking. I keep, I'm sorry we keep going over the same thing, but it's so unjustified. You know what really hurt him was the 60 members of his law place that um, said he doesn't follow the Constitution. Basically, you're no kin of ours. That really, that butter hurt him. Interesting enough, he should have known. He's a pansy. He's got all those family members working for Trump. So he'll do what he can to save his own family. Okay, I'll tell them. And they also want me to tell you guys that they'll do anything they can to make sure the Epstein battle is out of the picture. Interesting, okay. It might not be to save him, it might be to save his father. We will know the truth. Go ahead. God, I'm getting hits. In, 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 in time. So probably by the end of this year, there's a lot of, a lot of fantastic information coming in. And and my uh, most of you guys, most of my psychic friends that I look at, they all get the same thing. Bar is gonna pay. Bar is gonna pay. So will Bar show up to Congress, and will anything be done? Because right now, Congress, and I'm gonna write Pelosi as soon as I stop with you guys. Right now, Bar needs to the DOJ needs to be stripped of their monies. Why don't they do that? I'm very disappointed with the Dems. They're not getting angry enough. And I almost feel like it is Pelosi. Like, shh, 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 shh. Okay, just hold on. Remember, I kept feeling her saying, just give him more rope. Because even right now, his people are saying, you got to tone it down, dude, or you're going to lose. And he's not listening. Which we're glad he doesn't tone it down. <laughs> um... What's going on with Barr? Justice is there. Justice is there. Um, go ahead. What do you want me to tell everybody? Disillusionment. Um, but who, who's the one that's disillusioned? Is it Barr or is it Barr's feeling towards... Because I can't believe he would actually feel this self-righteous that he's in the right. People are giving him information. He gets a lot of information from underhanded. Like it feels like he's also tapped into foreign deals. Like he's probably on a phone basis with Putin. He, he definitely has some, some background underhanded demon type stuff. Um, and I went doubt by August, which is interesting. They're showing the August card, but you know, sometimes my times are off. I went down by, I went down by August, what you call hitting the fans. Okay, so let me just ask real quick. Don't hurt to ask. Is Barr um, going to show up? I felt like he would, but he was going to act like king for a day. You know how he shows off and thinks he's smarter than everybody else. They're trying to wipe the slate they're trying like you know those people that are testifying today which i didn't get to see but you know they'll show it all night it's like he's saying these people didn't have any kind of proof or they weren't there but they were there he's trying to talk over it but the noise is going to get too loud is what i heard so it's like he's you know how he has that monotone voice and he's talking through it and i see people are like shut up 
traitor. I heard the words traitor. But I see Pelosi say, no, we're too close to the, um, we're too close to the vote. So let me look, okay? Yeah, he's Indian, you guys. He might step down. There's just so much pressure. Look at this. Everybody's wish comes true because he gets sliced. You know what I'm saying? People are marching in the streets. You know, so funny as I can see, Trump will try to stand up for him, but Trump is falling, so he's got to get off that ship. That ship is sinking. But there's so much noise. I'm almost hearing so much noise that people, that bars like, you know, because they're coming out with more stuff even by the 28th, and it should be done sooner, and they should have pulled the money, but I don't see them doing that. I'm so sorry. Traitor. Treason. He may be ready to go to jail. I never saw him or Trump going to jail, though. But I'm not feeling good about Barr's health, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so now I wanted to tell you guys. Okay, so Amy and Corey and then Biden were in Kentucky, okay? Here's what I got to tell you. I wrote it on my Twitter. I had a dream that... Uh, you know, I've had the dream that, that Mark Kelly's going to win Arizona or wherever. I think it's Arizona. Saw it as clear as day. And, and in the dream, he was winning and we were all celebrating. So then I had this dream. I had two weird dreams. Then I had this dream that uh, McConnell was losing and he was so shook up. He's like, what? That can't be right. And demanding a second opinion or a second vote. I saw him being very upset. But this is what I want to tell you. Now, remember, they cut it down to 200 places, but maybe with the mail-in votes, we'll see more. But he got like 80, at 61% of, of the tally, he got 80, 90,000 votes. So did Trump. Biden got like, what, 60,000? And Amy and Corey got about 30 apiece. So if you combine Amy and Corey, that's not enough to beat uh, McConnell. So let's double check. I always add numbers like, okay, if you had so-and-so out of it, blah, blah, blah. Tell me about that dream I had about McConnell. What does it mean? Bobby Kennedy just told me, he lets me call him Bobby. He just told me that justice will, will be enhanced or basically it's so corrupt right now, it's gonna take a while to put it back together. But he wants us to know that because of this, a lot of things will change. Like the president can't oversee the DOJ. They'll make it very, very strict. The, because of this, there's new beginnings within the justice. They might even make it where the, the president can't, you know, fire IGs and stuff like that. They're going to do a lot of stuff. Okay, so I want to know, is McConnell going to win the state of Kentucky? Yes or no? Just tell me the truth and I'll give it to them. Because the other thing, that dream could have meant that he loses his place as sp speaker because he doesn't have enough people. He could be so upset by everybody falling off the train. That's why he was shook up. So let's double check it. Will he get Kentucky underhandedly stealing the votes? Will McConnell actually win in Kentucky? So after waiting, here's stealing. Chariot, the angel of light. I don't see him losing. 
I don't see him losing, but I see him looking at the, the what's going on. And he's like, F. <laughs> so he may win in Kentucky, but he's going to lose. Do you see what I'm saying? They might even, oh, oh my God. Okay, let me double check something else. Okay, now thank you. We I get the feeling, but he's got truth around him, which means he may get in, but he may have to fall out. Either because of health reasons, because he doesn't have enough people. He won't be a uh, speaker or the leader. Or he's going to be up on criminal charges. No, they said no criminal charges. I was hoping. Can't help. Can't help but, but wish. Tell me what's going to happen. Tell me what's going to happen. Yeah, there's some sort of drama going to take place, you guys. A new president is coming in. He's going to be stuck. He's unable to move. He's unable to move. And judgment will be there against him. You know what? I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so don't you guys worry, even if he wins, because he was real upset in a dream. He was wanting a recount or he's wanting to have you look at it again. And I'm almost feeling like they're going to be able to figure out that his wife stole. You see what I'm saying? It's going to be a lot of drama where he has to step down. His heart will, he will leave with a broken heart. His memory is forever erased. And all those judges they got in, as soon as the new administration comes in, They'll be able to take them all back. In fact, some new, new, even the Congress, there'll be some new event that takes place to make sure that you don't, like this last guy they just put in is under criminal investigation. You kidding? The Republicans would have thrown a Democrat out on his ear. Are you kidding? I'm not going to get him. But they're getting these young white men. It's like 90% white. They're young and they think they're going to have these conservatives in there. But trust me, most of them are getting kicked out. Okay? Including Kavanaugh. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay. So. Because they put, they threw anything in there. So let's look real quick. Let's look. I don't know who's winning. Corey's behind. But we still have mail-in votes. Is Amy going to win or is Corey going to win? So do my do me a favor on my left side, show me Amy. On my right side, show me Corey. That's how I did the LA Rams and uh, New England. God, I got so many hate emails. You're wrong. I said, well, I, you know, I don't have any skin in the game. And I see New England winning. And they won. Okay. Here's Amy. She starts. Oh. She, she, because I like Corey too, but it looks like Corey has to step away. Yeah. Oh, no. Corey's not going to get it. I liked him. Boy, he made a dent, didn't he? Corey's not going to get it. Amy will be the one that fights against, um, against uh, McConnell. I'll tell you, if he loses, it's, I'm going to tell you something. If, if, if it's in fact that McConnell doesn't get in, he loses. He's still in trouble. It's not like retiring out on the farm. There's going to be, I just see people picking at him, picking at him. So we had a big, I didn't see it yet, the guys that came in and talked about the DOJ. And everybody's trying to act like it's a nothing burger. Tell me, did that, will that have any, oh, somebody just said yes. That's weird. Why would you tell me that? Somebody just said, I think it's Bobby still, or it's John. Uh, somebody just said, no, he doesn't like being called John. He likes being called Jack. He just said that um, the underbelly of government has been not exposed, but it's it's not healthy. Like there's some darkness in there. There, even with J Jack when he was in office, 
there's some, you know, every guy helps himself, not necessarily to the monies. And except for uh, Carter, I'm feeling there's a lot of like underhandedness. Well, we saw what happened with Bush. I mean, it's amazing. There was a movie I watched just recently about um, them forcing the UK to say that um, there was weapons of mass destruction and it was a lie. And someone within the government blabbed. It's a true story. And of course they were all over her like a cheap suit. But her attorney, so she went in saying she's not guilty and you guys give us all the transactions that happened between so-and-so and so-and-so. And, -so, and then they just told, Your Honor, we're dropping the charges. But she was supposed to go up on treason. It was so scary. But if she, she tried to help the United Kingdom by telling everybody what this guy's saying is not true. There was no weapons of mass destruction. Okay. So let's look at these guys that are talking now. Threats against their lives. There's some ugly people out there that love to do trash. Threats against their lives. They're consuming the information, okay? They're in the back rooms working away. Everybody's kind of excited, I'll be honest with you. Magic is happening, okay? Ten of Cups, King of Coins. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Holy cow. It is another piece of the destruction of the DOJ. So, Barr will be shamed. And I'm telling you, I don't... That was 65 people that came forward from his school, all those judges that signed, signed, you know, saying that he was no good. And he still sits there, you know, trying to protect his master. And then, of course, protecting his family. He does this for his master and his family. But he's going down, you guys. The DOJ will never be the same. Okay, so the testimony of these guys is really going to be considered. In fact, even when the new president comes in, there's more stuff that, that's going to come out. So, okay. So then, last but not least. Let's look at Orange Crush Head. Oh, so I wanted to tell you, I had a dream about him last night. I had a dream that uh, he had a hooker, um, an Oriental girl. And I was at a house where he was. We're always at tables. Last time I saw him, he was at my dinner table in my parents' house. So we're sitting at the table. She's there. And I knew she was a, a call girl. But she knew him like it was an old friend that also happens to be a, a call girl. And um, he was talking to me. And he said to me, so Linda, out of all the presidents you know or you've known, who was the one that you think was the worst. <laughs> I don't know why he asked me that question. And I could feel that feeling in my gut. Like I wasn't afraid, like, oh, Mr. President, like all those other, like that guy that, that decided to drop Stone's charges, not Stone, to drop um, Flynn's charges. They said he was afraid of the president. So anyway, I just looked dead at him and I said, why, of course you, you're probably the worst scum of the earth. You're selfish, you're non-law-abiding, and you could care less about America. You're out to destroy. And I said it, it just flowed out of my mouth. I'm saying it to him. And he's looking at me, and then he just continues to chatter like nothing happened. Like he didn't hear that. I forgot to take that thing off my desk. Yeah! I'm like, what? Beyond? He just kept talking and the other lady was talking. I liked her. She had a real good personality, but you know, he's like, I told him, he's looking at me. I tell him he didn't fight me or anything. He's just like, oh, okay. And he keeps, okay, you guys. So I'm also going to post a little flick I did at Angel Heart to show the product and stuff. And a couple of little, uh, Tana's having a special and, um, 
just some stuff on there. And uh, I wore the wrong top because I gained like 16 pounds sitting in this house. I lost three of it. I haven't had sweets or anything for two weeks, but it comes off so slow. Remember, well, some of you are young, but when I was young, see, this is the problem. If you start fasting when you're young and lose weight that way, you screw up your whole metabolism. So when I was young, I'd go without eating like for a couple of days and drop 15 pounds, you know, it was boom. Now, holy cow, three pounds in two weeks. And I mean, you know, salad, a piece of protein, that's it. But I'm happy. That's the main thing. So excuse, excuse how, 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 I don't know, you know, I feel good. I just, and I've lost weight, so I feel good, but I, I need to lose more, which I'm doing at this time. All right, you guys. So enough about me. What do you guys think of me? I love you all. Take care. Ciao.